I wish to use this opportunity to warmly congratulate you on your election on behalf of the mission and the Ghanaian community. We are especially thrilled and grateful that you made time to interact with the community and the African diaspora in New York, in the tri-state area, and I believe far afield, many of whom have demonstrated their commitment to Mother Ghana. At a rather personal level, I must say that it is my singular honor and pleasure to welcome you as president, having had the privilege of working closely with you in your previous incarnation as Minister for Foreign Affairs during the term of former President John Adekum Kufo. Before I proceed any further, allow me to say a big thank you to the management and board of the Africa House, and especially to its director and Dr. Yao Nyako for the kind cooperation we have enjoyed and the excellent facilities that you have placed at our disposal. Our thanks also go to the management of the NYU Kimmel Center and to Dr. Sibel Raver, the NYU Senior Vice Provost, who has so well, warmly welcomed us to this campus. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, the Ghana Permanent Mission and Consulate General in New York has in the past few years sought to enhance the level of engagement with the Ghanaian diaspora with a view to advancing one of Ghana's key foreign policy objectives, that is the promotion of the welfare of Ghanaians abroad. This engagement has gone beyond purely welfare matters to active engagement with Ghanaian professional groups, religious associations and groups, businesses and enterprises. We recognize the presence of a dynamic and enterprising Ghanaian diaspora in the tri-state area, as well as the great potential that New York offers as an international financial and business hub, which must be tapped into. Several events have been organized in this regard. And since January this year, the mission has hosted a number of meetings with the Ghanaian business community to explore deeper engagement and enhanced cooperation. We believe that we have a unique opportunity to develop organic and viable business partnerships that can contribute to meeting Ghana's development targets in key sectors of our economy. And so in effect, this evening's town hall meeting is a continuation of the positive engagement and collaboration we have enjoyed in that regard. This time around, of course, we are most privileged to have His Excellency the President and his high-powered ministerial delegation with us. Mr. President, in your State of Nation address to Parliament in February 2017, you so eloquently outlined the vision and policy direction of your government. You spoke of a vision that promises a robust economy that affirms the important role of the private sector, jobs, and wealth creation. This vision has been translated into policies, strategies, and actions that government is currently pursuing, and we have already begun to witness very clear signs that government is on course in its development agenda. You have also announced your long-term plans and government priorities to reform economic governance, address corruption, eliminate bottlenecks and improve the business environment with a clear focus on agriculture and industry. There are many Ghanaians and friends of Ghana here in this hall who are not only keenly following developments back home, but have on different occasions made it known to us at the mission that they wish to join in these efforts and contribute their quota. The most recent encounter was held on 25th April this year during the visit to New York of Honorable Minister of Finance, Mr. Ken Ufuriata. Many have welcomed government's goal of making Ghana the most friendly, bus business friendly and people-centered economy in Africa and translating that into job creation and prosperity for all Ghanaians. Indeed, these issues have been at the core of our engagement with the Ghanaian community since I was given the privilege of serving here in New York. 
the numbers of people in this hall, and I believe in an adjoining hall, demonstrates the great interest in our nation's development, and it is my hope that our interaction this evening give us all a better appreciation of the policies going forward and what role the Ghanaian diaspora can play in these efforts. I am confident that we will leave this hall inspired and with a positive spirit and right attitudes and right actions, I believe we can make a difference and work together towards the goal of making Ghana our beloved nation great and strong. I wish us all a most rewarding and fruitful interaction and allow me to welcome you once again, Mr. President. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs>